You've done a couple of action movies uh, since the last time I saw you. Book of Eli, Max Payne, and I've noticed it's like, you're so funny, but you, it seems like you have the ability to tap into being a badass. You, do you like being in those kinds of movies? Do you like action movies? I do, I actually, you know, I, I like being in them. I'm really far from a badass. Like, I'm not like, you know, awesome at anything. So can you can you fight? Do, I, you I can think? I can fake it. I have, I give really stern looks, and I feel like that's that sells it. That's all you need. Really, in yeah, real like, in like real a, life, you are someone who can give someone a look, and that just takes them. Yeah, out? Yeah, totally. Like that's you know, it just it gets the job done, or at okay. least it, it scares them enough too. All right, let me try something right now. Let's just say I walked up to you, I didn't know you that well, and yeah. I just said, uh, "Oh, excuse me, uh, you just look like someone who'd own a lot of cats." <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty good. Right, right, okay. <laughs> I get that. I get that, but you know what? That's how Andy looks at me during the monologue. <laughs> 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 Every night I'm out there telling jokes <laughs> like, ah, what am I, ah, ah, and then we cut to Andy and just, uh, <laughs> Can you fight at all? You see, you don't really fight. No. Do I? No. No. I mean, well, no. You can. You can give an elbow. I think I if you... I an elbow. I can, like, no, stop it. And, like, oh. oh. Guess what, Mila? I can do that, too. <laughs> whenever, stu whenever stuff really starts to go down, I'm really good at, like, taking off my coat and approaching a gang and just being like, stop it. <laughs> Then later, at the hospital. <laughs> you know what I can do? I did, on Max Payne, oddly enough, there was like a, a big snowstorm and so production shut down for yeah, a while. Yeah, yeah. So I, I had a lot of practice with gaunts and I was given like free range. So I learned how to take apart, put together a gun. I'm actually pretty good at a gun. I can shoot pretty well, an automatic and a semi-automatic. And I learn how to keep my eyes open while shooting a gun, which sounds crazy, but it's really hard to do. It is hard to do. Yeah, because you is... naturally want to flinch. Yeah, it, w that's one of the biggest problems for people, especially in film, is when they're firing. If I was ever an action star, which is going to happen, <laughs> if I ever had to fire a machine gun, I'd just be... <laughs> You know, the whole time. Yeah, and they put it in slow motion now because everything's right. in slow-mo. And digitally, they'd have to go back and give me open <laughs> eyes. <laughs> but they'd be really fake open eyes. I've, to I've told this before, but I had to shoot a gun in a movie in a scene, and the first two takes, as I shot the gun, which actually had, you know, live rounds in it, I went, pew, pew. <laughs> And then, and then finally, the sound guy was like, do you know you're going pew? pew? I was like, no, I, I did not kids. know that. Yeah, you yeah. kind of want to go like bang, bang. Yeah, yeah. what you're used right. to. I, I know, I get it. Let's, uh, let me ask you about Ted. Ted, uh, I got to see this uh, a couple nights ago, and it's a really funny movie, and it's a great idea. Uh, you shot this film in Boston. I'm from Boston. Mm -hmm. Were you, so? Had you, I mean, so you shot the movie there, you have to spend a lot of time there. Did it surprise you? It's kind of a tough town in some respects. Yeah, it's a great town, like, before 7 p.m. Like, after 7 p.m., just go indoors. Right. Like, it's, you know, people there get crazy. They're they, nuts. They like to drink, and they're not afraid to tell you what they think. Or show you physically what they think. Because that, I mean, literally, that town, it's, I mean, it's a fun town, don't get me wrong, but... Boy, people there love their beer. Like, they just beer on hop everywhere. It's crazy. Right, and there's a big thing. I don't know if you, you hung out with, obviously, with Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. And his friends, he's known for having his Boston pals hang out with him when oh, he's huh. in town. And they can get a little rowdy. They get, oh, yeah, amongst each other. Right. All the time. What are they doing, just hitting each other over the head with, with stuff? I mean, they're, without, you know, going into too much detail and getting into too much trouble, but there are people breaking into fights, like, in the middle of the afternoon. Right. Which is crazy to me. I'm like, it's 2 o'clock, you guys. Take a nap. It's fine. <laughs> but they are, like, in a brawl in the middle of the day. That's what I see every time I go back to Boston. I'll just land and I'll be in Logan Airport, and I'll walk <laughs> through the terminal, and people are just hitting each other in the head. But you know what's really good there is their lobster rolls. I mean, I'm sure you know this because you're from there. Did I just get a who? Really? Yeah. yeah right. Well, yeah. the lobster rolls in Boston are amazing. And it's yeah. how they break up most of the fights. <laughs> People are hitting each other, and then they lower one on a string, and everyone's like, huh? <laughs> nom, 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 nom. And then everybody just calms down. Hey, if it works.